Hi, my name is Jair Barayas, I'm from Bolivia. Now I'm gonna show you how to simulate the new 1500 PLC from Siemens. Right? We're using the this new software, Step 7 Professional version 12, update 1. And, the, and we are using also the S7 PLC Sim version 12. Okay, we're gonna simulate this PLC. Um, I, think I, have a I have created a new project. Okay. Now we're gonna compile this project. Of course. Click compile. Button. Find the configuration. Okay. Now we're gonna start the simulation. Click it online. Go to simulation start. Or you can click in this icon start simulation click on it okay this simulator provides much of the functionality of a real PLC the simulated PLC supports download mode in ground mode okay now you write the name okay create any change that you make to an input or output in a simulation table or sequence is updated at a normal scan point, just as with a physical PLC. This simulator doesn't support awful. all of the error messages writing to the diagnosis buffer. For example, messages relating to bad batteries in the CPU and many more cannot be simulated. However, most input and outputs and program errors can be simulated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the simulation window. Now we're gonna click here, and we're gonna click here and accept all. Okay. This is the difference between configure and target mode online. Now click load. Now we can start the the new mode. This one finish. Okay. Now we can go online or click here. Okay, this is the simulation window right now. Okay, we're gonna we can go online. If we want. We can go online. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna take a while. This simulator doesn't support point-to-point -point communications such as between two CPUs in the same rack. Okay, now we are we are online right now. We can see the main OBS, we can start simulation, monitoring all. Okay, we are online right now. Now we can stop the program if, if you want to. And the mode is updated right here. Now we're gonna open it up, click here. Okay. You can see the device configuration and the hardware configuration is the same as in the project. Okay. It's gonna take a while. It not it does not support know how protected blocks. It rejects program downloads that contain user defined know how protected blocks so taking taking consideration this. Okay. Now we open it on same table. Same table number one. Now we're gonna write the others. Okay, now we are online right now. As you can see this example. We're gonna put it in run mode. Okay. Okay. Now we now if you want to simulate bits, you have to just click double click here. And the monitor value turns into true. Now you can see true. Now we're gonna see. Click, click here. As you can see, this simulator it works at least for this simulation. Uh, it doesn't not support persistent storage of a configuration. Therefore, the simulated PLC has no concept of warm start or cold start up. It supports use selection for start mode without a resulting mode. Also, uh, you cannot simulate SD cards. For example, the data login feature 
uh, writes all the output to the SD card so the data log feature is not simulated in this example and in the simulator now you can well that's it this is my first video hope you enjoyed and this is the new Tia Portal version 12 bye